because I want my lens of truth. So anyway, let's go on to the, uh... There we go. It's very easy. So anyway, from here, let's go. Let's warp to the fire temple. There's no prerequisites pre prerequisites for this one. Just go ahead and get the uh glitch. Link, it's so hot in here. I know. In less in two minutes and forty seconds, I will die. It's terrible. Oh well. Where we, where we want to go is we want to go to the visit the Goron. So I went the wrong way, freaking way in my menu. Let's go ahead and hook shot back over. And go through their entrance to the place. Hey, that big vase is that big vase is gone. Where did vase go? Let's go ahead and go to the lost woods with as with this glitch being done. Then once here, let's see. There's a code to the underwater warp of Zora's domain, which is right here, actually. <laughs> Dive down into the depths of the sea. Or. And we're in Zora's River. Hooray. Let's jump down to the place. And now we're just gonna want to. Exit Zora's domain to Hyrule Field while inside of the river. Make sure you're in the river or it won't work pop properly. Because if you're on land, I just th think Epona will just get stuck on land in a little landmass with you. And not, not much will happen. And I think you can actually get out of that just by calling Epona else elsewhere. Anyway, let's. Make sure you're in the la in the river and exit. And see, we're on top of the ocean. I mean, we're above the water. We're not as high as we were before. See, the sign is right there. Right there. We're not as high as we were. We're there's a cliff right above us. That's a that's a nifty little two that's a little nifty glitch too. You can also ride her by being dead by going uh making one bomb hit will kill you. Do the master glitch, warp to outside of the fire temple, go see the Gorons, go through the Lost Woods, and go to Kiri Forest, go to the bridge where you met Saria, throw a bomb and exit at the same time you get hit. This may take many tries. You should be taken to Hyrule field and be on Epona without any life if it worked correctly. You will not be able to use any weapons even the, with the sword of the Slink glitch. Link will die whenever he gets off Epona. Okay, next glitch. Okay, in the Gorilla's Fortress, remember that there are crates over here. Yonder here. What you want to do is get down off of Epona. Break both of these crates. One, two, and then take your Epona and line her up to about there, maybe. Yeah, about there. Into the forest. I mean, not the forest, the fortress. And then exit. And Epona is inside of a crate. Not sure what she's doing in there. She's halfway in and halfway out. That's odd looking. And then if you destroy this crate, she failed. Hooray, she failed. Oh, well, then I'll cut away till I get it right. 
Epona is inside of the crates again. Now she's fully inside of them. It looks pretty weird looking. And if you destroy this crate, you should pop. No, you're not popping right. Is it the other one I'm supposed to destroy? Because if it is, I didn't know. It's the other one I need to destroy. Dude. Dude. Okay, <laughs> she's inside of the crates like she's supposed to be. Now, break this one. No. You fail, Epona. Uh ha ha. Work better. Put her closer into the wall. There's just barely enough room for me to walk past now. So that should be good. Turn exit. Get Epon up stuck. And now break that crate. And now she's on top of the crate. See? She's standing on the crates. She's got a very hangy, hangy shadow here. Pona. It's like, it's like a mechanic doing work on your horse. It's like, ah, uh, checking for some leaks. Looks okay. And let's see. From here, let's see. Um, let's see. So I believe what you do is you drop a bomb up here. You're supposed to climb. Uh, you didn't do that right, Link. Yeah, idiot. Let's see if I can line her up a bit better here. Okay, she's up there. Now, can I get up here with? Yeah, I can get up here. So now, what you believe? What you do? Drop a bomb and then climb, and then the opponent will fall. And now we're inside of the thieves' hideout, and our status is set to on horse. Hooray! So, it's just like the other one. Except you're inside of the Thieves' Hideout, other than being on Epona. I mean, in the Carpenter. Uh, and he's seen you exit, and you're on the horse. Simple enough. Anyway, and there's one more I want to show you. It involves being up here. And you, you remember we fused into those crates. And you see this horse here? This horse here? That's who we're trying to fuse into now. So let's go ahead and make it nighttime to where the horse isn't there anymore. It's night. <laughs> and you see the lady and her horse are now gone. So if you take Epona here. 
line her up to about here. Maybe turn her around to about there. Let's take a look at here from back here, see if it looks anything like it did. Shut up, Navi. Looks good. So let's go ahead and make a day. If we did it right, that horse should be inside of Epona. Or vice versa. And it looks like should look like they have two heads. Hopefully I did it right, because it looks awesome. Oh, look here. Not quite lined up perfectly, but still looks pretty weird. These horses are fused together, which is very strange. Anyway, I think that's about it. And hey, I wanted to try something. What happens if... I'm just going to shoot arrows at these targets just uh, for no business. No, it does nothing. The arrows, they do nothing. Anyway, I, I want to do one last thing before I end off this video. I want to quickly show you what the reward for getting 100 gold sculptures is. You go ahead and go inside the sculpture house. And you see... Everyone is now free, including the old guy. You speak to him, he's like, Since you've destroyed 100 spiders of the curse, the curse on me has been broken. Thank you, here is a token of my appreciation. Please take it, and... It's a rupee. A rupee. Fantastic. <laughs> All of that for a rupee. They should have made that the big Goron sword or something. But interesting on the Olaf, you can uh, come back in here and he will have no recollection of the incident. So he'll just keep on giving you the rupee over and over. So it's an ultimate rupee glitch. No, uh, no ultimate rupee grinding thing. It's not a glitch, it's actually real game stuff. Anyway, that's about it. In the next part, I think we will enter Ganon's Tower. Goodbye, everyone!